So um, when you take an online class, there's certain things that are really wonderful that you can do that you cannot do um, in an in-person class. And this oral reading practice is one of those things. Um, what you're doing here is you are um, practicing pronunciation and then I'm giving you feedback directly to you. So here's how it works, right? Here, the first thing I'm giving you in the oral practice is what I'm listening for. So if I'm listening to vowels, if I'm listening to diphthongs, if I'm listening to elision, um, I'll, t I'll tell you about what I'm, I'm particularly interested in, in listening to um, in the reading. However, that's not the only thing I listen to. Um, so what happens after that, this is the way it works, is that you start out with this audio. And it's, it's a short story by Sandra Cisneros. You only read to me for one minute. So you don't need to read me the whole story. You just read me one minute of Sandra Cisneros. Usually that's the first paragraph. So you're going to read me the first paragraph of Sandra Cisneros' story, Mi Nombre. But first, before you even look at it, you're going to listen to it three or four times. And this isn't listening for content. This is listening for the cadence of the language. This is listening to um, how the words string together. It's just listening to the music of the language. So when you're comfortable listening to it, and you need to give yourself some time to do this, because like I said, this is something really special that you can only do in an online class. Um, so once you've gotten listened to it a couple, three, four times, right, then go to the text and, and bring up the text and practice it reading along with the woman who is narrating the um, Mi Nombre. Because that way you're going to get the pace of the language, you're going to get the intonation of the language. Um, so read along with her, practice with her, and then when you're feeling comfortable or bored to tears, um, you can upload your recording. Um, I prefer MP3, MP4s, um, but if that's not something that's going to work for you, get in touch with me or try it. We'll, we'll work it out. Um, I can do other things. I'm not super tech savvy, but I'm pretty good. Um, so uh, some students have used Vokey. If you want to look at Vokey.com, that's uh, you get to make an avatar and um, it's a minute a limit. So you don't have to time yourself. Your reading is over in a minute. Um, oh, when after you're done with um, with the recording and you've uploaded it, then I listen to everybody's recording one by one and I get back to you individually on what, what we're looking at here, this screencast-o-matic, um, and talk to you about your pronunciation and um, make suggestions on, on how things could be pronounced differently. Um, you'll get the link for Screencast-O-Matic every time I respond to a reading practice, an oral practice. I send you the link. Also, at, again, at the top of the Moodle, right here, is Screencast-O-Matic, which you hear and then see pronunciation suggestions. So both places um, you can go to to get the link and um, take advantage of this. This is really a great thing. Okay, so I think that's it for oral. Um, I'm going to move on to listening. Adios.